Okay, in this one we're going to set up our, record, our, our documentation page so that it paints our colors behind the combine as it's mapping as far as our, our varieties, I mean uh, not varieties but yield. So we're going to go in, we're going to hit menu and we're going to hit GS3. In your GS3 menu you will go to mapping, letter A. Down at the bottom we have map settings. So my foreground, instead of just seeing coverage, which is our blue painting, I want to see yield. I also want guidance lines to show up on my map. So I will accept that. And when I did, if it does not show up for you, if this is still showing blue, the button here at the bottom toggles it to where it paints in blue or paints in color. To edit our colors, just touch the, the legend. We'll say show us everywhere that's greater than 190 and less than 150. These numbers can be set to whatever you would, would like. As you notice, when we set our offsets up correctly in documentation, the header is sitting in front of the combine. Remember, it will be mapping behind it because there is a delay in from the time the grain is cut until it actually gets through the machine. So if you zoom in too close, you may not see it painting because it may be a little bit behind it. There is, a, there is a gap and that is normal. So now from our run page, as we were cutting and mapping, it would be painting the picture behind us.